Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here today with a what's in my handbag video and this is already like the big bag edition. Like this is more for like an everyday work bag type of what's in my bag because if I go out in the evening or if I'm going out shopping casually or going out to lunch, this isn't really the bag that I would wear just because it is so big. This is the San Rev Maestra bag and this is in the Dragon leather um, in the navy blue color. Um, and this is pretty much like the bag that I would say I like to use on a daily basis when I go to work. So this is pretty much like my work hand bag. Um, I'm still working from home. I'm doing sometimes at home, sometimes at the office. And this is pretty much the one that I have been carrying lately. I'm really loving it. I also kind of want to review the bag a little bit. This is a bag that I have been using already for a few months. I also traveled with it. And I also want to show you the comparisons of the size of the Maestra bag from Sanrev. I have all three of the Maestra sizes. This is the main Maestra. Maestra, the big one. I think this is like the original. I have the midi and I have the mini Maestra. So I do want to show you the size difference um, so you have an idea, but this is definitely the biggest one. It's also the first time that I buy the Dragon leather. Um, I usually like the regular pebbled leather is the one that I tend to get the most, but I loved this navy blue in the Dragon. So I definitely want to talk to you about that. There are some pros and cons, I think, with this leather that I definitely want to discuss with you. And more importantly, I want to show you what I carry in my bag and how I like to organize my bag. Okay, so first, let me just get started by showing you the actual bag. And you can get this on the Sunrev website. And this is the one, I feel like they call it Dragon Leather. It's spelled like Dragon Leather. But when I've seen other people talk about it, they call it the Dragon. And this is in the Marine which is like the navy blue color. I feel like this is like the original. The first one is the Maestra bag um, that they came up with. This is like the first one that the brand had. And then they did go making us medium size and then they also did a smaller size, which I am gonna show you the ones that I have right now. Um, for the large bag, it does have the flap in the front that kind of goes through the little hole. See, it's kind of like a little bolt like that and it goes through the little the hole. first con, I have to say, from this leather style is the the dragon leather is a lot more stiff it's not as soft as the pebbled leather and the dolce leather is even softer so this all the sound ref bags have different types of leathers different price points of the leathers, um, different colors. What I think is amazing about their website is that they have a ton of selection, different leathers, different colors, they have different models. It is a brand that I have been loving, I have grown to love, I have bought a lot of bags from them. I also have the smaller bags and the Maestra bags are the very first ones that I ever tested out. I actually tested out the mini and the midi first and then I love them so much that I wanted to get the large one and I chose this type of leather because I don't have anything in this type of leather. Usually my the ones that I have the most are pebbled. They're not cheap bags, so I tend to go for more neutral colors in these bags even though they do have beautiful like colorful colors, but I prefer to get colors that are more neutral that I feel I can wear all year round that never go out of style and that I can pretty much use a lot. So this is the Marine in the Dragon leather. But the biggest con I would say is definitely that the leather is a little bit more stiff, which I don't mind. It's, it's very, it's not like a very soft leather. What bugs me about it and what is a pain in the butt is that when you wanna change the, the size of the straps, getting the little bolt through the hole is a mission. It is a mission. I feel like the first time I got it through the hole, um, my fingers were so red. I mean, it's not super easy in the pebbled either, but it's a thousand times easier. The best part about this bag though, is that you can use it, you know, you can use it, you can hold it from here, you can use it as a shoulder bag, you can use it as a backpack, but with this leather, I kind of just want to keep it in one way because I don't want to have to deal with switching the actual straps to like another form, like from backpack to shoulder. It's just 
such a pain and I feel like I've already done you know the perfect level of you know the perfect length of the strap for my shoulder and I already have it already in the perfect length of the backpack form so I feel like those holes like once you make the hole once and you keep it in there the second time it's gonna be much easier but it was a mission it was not like how it was with the pebbled I mean the pebbled you definitely have to push it in and you have to put a little bit of pressure but this was just very very hard the big bag I think it's just so heavy this is not realistic to have it as an everyday bag which is why I say for me it's perfect I love it don't get me wrong for a work bag it's excellent for a work bag it's comfortable I prefer to carry it on the shoulder that's how I like to carry it on the shoulder. Carrying it here on my arm, it kills me because since it's my work bag, I have a lot more things here that I don't usually carry on a daily basis. But I do carry it if I have to go into the office or if I have to do different things, different errands, and I need to carry a lot of stuff, this is when I like to carry this bag. I have also taken it on a trip for travel. For travel, I do prefer to carry it as a backpack. I felt that as a backpack, it just wasn't as comfortable and convenient for travel. So um, I don't know if I would take it for travel again. So those are pretty much all the negatives from the bag. Those are the cons, um, but I do love the bag. Now let's get to the good stuff. Um, for starters, I think the bag and the model is beautiful. I love how it's versatile that you can you know, wear it in many different ways. Um, I would have to say out of the three sizes, I think the one that is perfect is the middle size. The small size is adorable. It's my second favorite, but the middle size is just perfect for an everyday bag you know it's also a good one to take to work this one just gives you extra space for extra things if you need like to take an ipad or you need to take a little notebook or you want to take a water bottle then i would recommend the big one but i feel like the perfect one is the middle one then i would say my second favorite is a small one and then i would say my third favorite is definitely the large one but it's beautiful and it's very very comfortable as an everyday bag and i love it what i like also of the all the sun rev maestro bags is that everything is nice and safe because you have the first flap here and then it has a zipper which i think it's amazing because everything is nicely protected the middle bag the medium size and the large size all have the strap that goes in through here that you put the little bolt in the hole the little one the mini maestra is magnetic which makes it really helpful but this bag you know it gets a little bit heavy you can't have it magnetic because it just won't hold so now let me show you how organized it looks in the inside and that's what's amazing about these bags i feel like I don't know if I read this on there. It's definitely the perfect bag for a woman on the go, for sure. It's amazing. I think it's like so much prettier than like carrying a briefcase. It's just a nice bag. It's, you know, the inside is that pretty suede. That is the bag, how I have it organized. It has so many pockets to keep your stuff nicely organized. In this case, you can carry a laptop, a smaller type of laptop, an iPad, it fits perfectly. So if you carry a computer on a daily basis or an iPad, I would say the big one is, is a good one for you. I think the middle one also can fit an iPad, um, but it's just perfect. And it has a zipper, a zipper for you to, I'll show it to you guys empty as well, but it has a zipper, it has some like little pouches that you can put different things in the big pouch, and it's just the beautiful suede grayish leather that they have in all the other ones. But I feel like it's just very nice and safe with the zipper as well as the flap. It has such a big bag, you really need to have it organized because then it's gonna be like a bottomless pit and you're not gonna be able to find anything. So the very first thing I have that I wanna share with you guys is a nice little tip. I even have a little, this is kinda like those wallet on chain type of bags. This is from Tory Burch and it's pretty much like a wallet. If this one, I currently have it empty right now because I kind of tend to switch it up, but pretty much here, it already has the credit card slots. It has a zipper. It has another slot that you can fit your phone in. Um, it has another slot in here. And what I like to do with this is I like to carry it in here and it also has a nice strap where you can carry it on your shoulder or cross body. And I'm, a lot of the times I'm switching like my credit cards or my license from my wallet into this little bag because for example say I'm at work and I'm about to go out to lunch with a friend or maybe I decide to go to happy hour last minute 
I don't want to carry this humongous bag with me everywhere I go. So I pretty much just get my phone, get my credit card, get my license, any other little things. You can probably fit a lipstick in here. You know, you can fit a few little things in here and then I just go with this. I'll leave this at work, lock it up in the office and I'll just go out with this so it's nice and comfortable. So it's kind of nice to keep a nice little bag or a small clutch or something where if you have a plan, like your plans change or something last minute comes up and you want to go but you don't want to lug around this big bag, you have a nice little purse on the inside that you can carry that pretty much fits a good amount of stuff in here. Next I have my sunglasses in here and these are my key sunglasses. I believe these are the high key maybe. These are the ones that have the the blue lens and I love, I feel like this is the smaller size of these. They have a small and they have a bigger size. I'll for sure go ahead and list it down below the exact name of this one and the size but these are my key sunglasses, the ones that I'm currently using right now and I also have a pair of reading glasses which I actually just had these done I think that they are beautiful they are from Ray-Ban and I think there was a problem with the prescription it's very little but um I still see a little bit blurry so they have like little nude nudie pink like little legs and then this is like clear so I think these are really nice but I think I need to take them back to adjust something because I have either I haven't gotten used to it, but I'm seeing a little bit blurry, so it's not exactly working 100%. Then I have a water bottle in here, so this bag fits a water bottle. This is from the brand Swell, such a good water bottle, and I like it because it's sleek, it's small. You can even fit it standing up or you can lay it down however you want, but it's a good secure water bottle. It's not gonna spill. You know, I like to take my water bottle nice and cold to work. I put it in the morning with ice and water and it just stays so cold throughout the day. I believe you can pretty much use these with cold beverages or hot beverages. I just use water and I like to have my cold water all day long um, and I can refill it, but the ice like stays there. I bought these little, ice cubes from Amazon or like an ice cube tray. They're like little cylinders of ice cubes so they fit perfectly in here. Um, and they're so good. They're like ice cube tray for water bottles. Um, and I put that in the morning and it stays cold all day long like until I come home at night. So it is the best. Then I have my wallet. This is a Louis Vuitton wallet in the Damier Eben. This one has the, the pink color on the inside. I'll go ahead and put the name down below because right now I do not remember it. Then I have my car keys as well. This is on an older Louis Vuitton um, type of keychain. This one I'm sure you've seen in a previous um, you know what's in my bag video so i have my car keys okay, so the bag has this little like a little strap and it has a little thing to click something at the end of it right here and i like to put my airpods because since these are small that way i can always find them and i always clip them to this little leather thing here that comes with the bag so i also always carry my airpods these are the airpod pro and i love them they're so good they're the ones that are the noise canceling ones then i have a little makeup bag this makeup bag is from Target I think it's good to have one of these I mean I do have a lot of things that are outside on the bag you know as you can see in the sides I have the essentials that I like to reach for like say I'm driving and I want to reach for gum I just reach for gum you know I don't have to go through this but the majority of the little things are in here so I do want to share with you guys what I carry in here and I have this Nivea cream this is like the original Nivea cream from like the one that my grandma used and I love it. This is a great cream. I sometimes use it on my hands. There's even times that I can't take it anymore. Like I feel dry and I even use it on my face. It's just like an old school, very rich cream. And I just feel it's just so good that, I mean, you can buy it at the drugstore, but it's like the best cream and it's been around for ages, but it works for everything. I always carry a clip and a scrunchie in my little makeup bag. I kind of always like tie it together so they stay together. These are the velvet scrunchies. These you can get on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below. And this is just like a regular scrunchie, that brand, I think it's a like scrunchie. It's like a clip, always very good to have. I carry emergency just in case you need some vitamin C. I carry wet ones, antibacterial wipes. This is in the tropical splash. Oh, I even have alcohol prep pads because you know, 
for the pandemic we have everything that is like antibacterial or like kills germs i have a nail file this is really good to always carry from tweezerman this i always take with me oh i even have these um these i got on amazon these are like little soap it's like a little um, soap papers you know if, if you ever go to the bathroom and the bathroom doesn't have any soap you have soap in your purse so these come really convenient for when you are traveling or whatever and you just you know have a little emergency from stilla i have this cream blush in the shade lilium i feel like cream products are the best type of products to take on the go this is something that you can use everywhere in a pinch if you just like you know you left the house you know with no makeup on and then you something comes up and you need to do something you can always put a little bit of cream blush on your cheek you can even put it on your lips you can even put it on your lids so i think cream blush is a good is a good option to have in your purse for like carrying minimal makeup in your bag, but something that is like multitasking. Then I have some lip products in the bag. I have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, a nice little lip glom. This is in the Gummy Bear. Then I have from YSL, this is the Rouge Volup. This is like a red color. This is number 84, is that what it says? 84. And it's strange for me to have a red in my purse because I tend to go for more pinky colors or nude colors. But this is just so good, these um, Rouge Volup, because it's kind of almost like a little tint. It's like if you want to get brave with colors like reds and oranges or like bright colors, I would always start off with these Rouge Volup ones because it's like a good starter and I like it a lot because it just gives you a nice little rouge tint like a little bit red but it's not like a bright red lipstick it's just very glossy almost like a, a balm type of thing then from Tarte I have the H2O gloss this is in the shade room service this is like my go-to type of color like a purpley mauvey pink type of color similar to the one I'm wearing on my lips but it's not the one I'm wearing today and from Tower 28 this is just like a clear gloss I'm really loving these glosses from Tower 28 they also have colorful ones that were kind of like a little tint so those are also good if you want to like you know venture towards like reds or oranges or bright pinks it's like a nice little glossy type of look then i have a purse holder this is just pretty much if you're with your purse and you're going to eat you just put this on your table and you hang your bag through here it holds a lot of weight this is like a cute little i don't know if it's like a little wine glass you know it has like little pink rhinestones in it then i did i show this already i have some gum in here dentine ice mint sugar free i have a little pen just in case i need to use a pen i think i have another one inside and then i have my eye drops these are eye allergy relief the opcon a i always like to carry those in here i have a little perfume this is from clean this is the solar bloom set i have this in the big one and i got this one for 100 points at sephora it just smells so good. I love these um, clean perfumes. Then I have some band-aids just in case I need a band-aid. I have a little MAC blending brush, the number 217, just in case I need to do something with it. Um, I actually have a bronzer in my purse, which I'll show you now. And you know, if you need to maybe put some bronzer in the crease, I have that brush. And then I have this Laura Mercier Sanglo Caviar Stick. You know, if in case you're in a pinch, you need to add a little bit of makeup on your lid this is good to go so between this and the cream blush the lip glosses and the bronzer you can really you know transform like a last minute if you need to like do your makeup really quickly those are like my essentials to have in my purse so i don't have to carry a huge amount of makeup in my bag next of course i have my cell phone in my bag so it's a pretty big phone um it fits here perfectly of course then in the pocket in the bag this is a pocket where you technically put could put a little laptop or your ipad i actually have like a little notebook this is just a little notebook that i have that i got at home goods i believe it says work hard stay humble be kind take the leap and i just if i need to like write something down for work or if i'm on the go or something i need to remember i like to have that in here and then i have a pen in here these are like the best pens i know this is like something that we don't talk about but the schneider slider memo pen this is a really nice ballpoint pen if you like like those nice pens that just feel so nice and smooth like this is the type of pen that if you use this pen at like a store or something you're like hey please take the pen it's just such a good pen i buy these on amazon and they're the best pens those are the ones that i like to use the most oh then i have this here i haven't even opened this my mom gave me this it's called like the no touch key um and you pretty much open doors with it 
or you can like push buttons with it. I don't know if you can see. It's really cute. I have to open it up. I haven't used that yet. She just gave it to me today. I have a bronzer in one of the pockets and this is like a beautiful compact. It's just so pretty. I don't know how to explain how beautiful this is. It's from Gucci. I know it's a little bit, um, I'm lowering the light so you can see how beautiful it is. It's like the be beautiful Tiffany type of bluish like bluish turquoise color. I know it's beautiful, it's Gucci, it's fancy. I got it at the Sephora sale with a 20% off, but it is a gorgeous bronzer. I love it because it also has a little brush here. So like I said, if you're in a pinch, you can add some bronzer, add a little bit of contour. You know, you can even use the brush that I had in the little baggie, which is the MAC 217, I believe, and add this to your, and like as an eyeshadow on the crease. But it's just beautiful, and it's also a nice little mirror if you need to use it to apply some makeup. And it's just a pretty one to carry in your purse. So it's beautiful, it's nice, I love it. Um, they also have the face powder, which I would love to get. It's like a little peachy color. I love it, it's beautiful. Um, I wanna get that one too, but I don't have that one just yet. <laughs> Then I have my go-to lip balm. I know I had a lip balm in here, but I also have one in one of the little pockets just because it's more um, readily accessible for me. This is my go-to favorite lip balm. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. This is by far for me the best lip balm. I have hand sanitizer. This is my favorite one from Bath & Body Works. This is the Eucalyptus Spearmint one. It just smells so good. I'm picky with hand sanitizers. I don't like those that smell like alcohol. Literally, they smells like you're pouring like cheap tequila on yourself. Um, I have my house keys. This is the, um, I think this is a six key um, Damier Ben keychain. Um, it has the pink on the inside, which the pink actually gets a little bit dirty with the keys. Um, but I love it. I've had this for years. They hold up really, really well. Then I have, oh, I have another pretty lip gloss in here. This is from Westman Atelier. I'm gonna write down the name of this gloss in the bottom. This is like another mauve type of color. This is also very, why am I blurry? Okay, I'm back in focus. I just noticed that I was blurry. This is like another one of those like very wet type looking lip glosses. This is like a mauve color and I like it. I'll go ahead and put it down below because this is like so tiny and I can't even see it and I don't remember the color by heart. And then I will have, then I have a face mask, a disposable face mask. And then I also have a pretty cloth face mask. This one is from Kate Spade, just in case. I kind of tend to switch these out every day, depending on if I use one or the other, but I always like to have a nice, clean and fresh face mask in my bag. So the bag is now empty. That's everything that I have in my purse. Let me show you the bag when it is empty so you can see all the pockets that it has. It has one with a zipper. One has like a little flap here so you can lock it in. So it has that and then it has three pockets on one side, three pockets on the other side that you can just put things inside. The pocket with a zipper. So it pretty much has eight pockets on the inside. So it has six, the zipper, and then the one for the computer is this one right here. So now here. I wanna show you the size difference of the Maestra bags. And I'm gonna start off with the large and the medium. So this is the big Maestra and this is the medium one. This is the midi Maestra. This one is in the pebbled leather and this is in the sand color. I love this neutral sand color. It is amazing. And this one has also, you know, the little bolt that you put through the hole. So this is the size difference. I feel like this is just like the perfect one for every day. I think this is perfect for every day. If you don't have to carry a laptop and if you don't have to carry, you know, a water bottle, you can just carry it outside. I would definitely, you know, use this one. You may even be able to fit a smaller bottle, water, bottle of water in here, but I feel like this is the perfect go-to size for every single day. I feel like the smaller one gets a little small for every day. Perfect, obviously, for the evening or if you're gonna run errands or something. Um, the little one is perfect and it's also one of my favorites. This is a small one. This is the middle and this is a small. This is in the chestnut. This is absolutely my favorite color from the brand, from San Rev. Like I even considered getting the big one in the chestnut but I wanted something different. This is also pebbled and this one has gold hardware. 
the middle one in the taupe color the sand has silver hardware and in the blue navy blue is gold hardware so sometimes the colors switch with the hardware but this is the small size i love it i almost wish since this is my favorite color i almost wish i would have gotten the middle one in the chestnut and the smaller one in the sand but you know whatever i still love them i use them both a lot like i said i tend to go for neutral colors now let me show you the little one in comparison to the big one and there you see like a massive size difference but this one fits a lot of stuff it's pretty big you can also use this for every day and i have used it for every day but i find that i literally fill it up so much and i just you know i fill it up to the top and it's like nothing else fits in there and i don't like to fill up my bags like to the top just because then it's hard to look for stuff anyway it's organized but everything is just so tight in there that um i don't like to i like to leave a little bit of room so i can put my hand in there and get the stuff that i need in a normal way not like you know um killing my hands trying to get to the bag so this is the size of the large with the small so the maestra and the mini maestra I'll take a photo for you guys and put all three side by side because i don't think i can actually show you all three at once even if i like back up a lot you're not going to fit in the frame so i'll try to take like a photo both of these the the sand and the chestnut are also in the pebble but i'm really happy with the sound rev bags love the maestro i love this model i also have some of the smaller models which i love so much i just really like the brand i think that everything is just they're not cheap of course but they're really well made italian leather excellent they're just really good bags and i think that this model is like genius it's so versatile and it just works so well and i love the fact that they have you know all these different sizes and i'm just very obsessed with this chestnut color i feel like i want to get another one in this color i just don't know which one i was thinking maybe like the new circle one that just came out but I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm really loving the Sound Ref bags. And I hope that you guys enjoyed what I carried inside my work handbag. I'm going to go ahead and list everything that I mentioned in the description box down below in case you guys want to check out some of those products or if you guys like some of the ideas and some of the things I carry in my bag so you guys can also check them out for yourselves. If you had a lot of fun watching this video, I really hope that you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, I want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye!